Today we're going to uh, use a graphing calculator to uh, aid us with uh, piecewise functions and proving their continuity using Cauchy. Um, here are the equations to work with, 1.5x plus 3 and 2x squared minus 1. Uh, notice they don't have their restrictions yet, it's not really expressed as a piecewise function. Uh, the window settings uh, the window settings are kind of like this and it's just to maximize the visual impact of the graph uh, just to see make it obvious and clear where the points are your window settings may, do, may be different of course and now to get the intersection um, we actually enter second plus trace plus five uh, those are the key presses second trace and five um, and then hit enter. So um, first cursor moves just before the desired intersection for the first curve. Um, move the cursor just before the intersection, press enter, press enter again, and press enter again. And uh, basically we need the equations to look like the insert. So uh, there's many ways to enter the piecewise functions on the T86. Each, uh, uh, each piece can be multiplied by a Boolean function. Uh, a Boolean is a restriction, uh, or basically represents a restrictions, and they evaluate to true, which is a 1 uh, as far as the calculator is concerned, or a false, which is 0 as far as the calculator is concerned. If you're multiplying by 1, you see the sketch, and if multiplied by 0, you don't see the sketch, um, and because you're outside the restriction. So uh, the resulting graph will, be, uh, will look like the insert. So that uh, point of intersection is very important because that will tell us where one, um, one function stops and the other function starts. And uh, there it is expressed as an xy coordinate and I would prefer uh, that you hand in the assignment as an xy coordinate. Here is the piecewise function expressed in handwritten form. Notice this is very different from the way the calculator sees it. I'm more interested in the handwritten form when you hand it in to me. Of course the calculator must have it its way as well. So there's two different syntaxes you must be familiar with. So here we have, um, uh, we need to enter parentheses for this entire function for y1. That whole function must be multiplied by our restriction because when it's zero, it has to be, you know, it has to not plot and when it's one, it must plot. So um, for, for this piece, we need, to, we need x to be uh, greater than, um, and that that's done by doing second plus math plus three and then your number. And um, I use the full value of x for best results. It's still an approximation. And uh, for the uh, less than or equal to symbol, now notice we have to also similarly enter brackets for the entire uh, y2 function um, and then multiply that by the entire uh, restriction. This time it's less than or equal to one point, negative 1.08808 and 7. So a less than or equal to will be second, math, and 6. Those are the key presses. And then you enter your number. Second, math, and 6, and then enter the negative 1.08807. The reminder is to enter the uh, minus sign, the minus sign, instead of the subtraction sign, using the minus key next to the decimal key. Don't use subtraction when you mean minus, otherwise the graph will choke up on you. So you press graph for the graph. The function is now finally plotted as piecewise, and now we can use Cauchy to help show continuity. Everything here is approximate. Graphing calculators never truly show continuity, but the approximations are close enough if the calculator is used with a fair degree of skill. Entering x equals negative 1.088 places us just inside the restriction for 1.5x plus 3, or the y1 function, and we get the value y equals 1.368 and make a note of it. So 
So um, this is like approaching the restriction from the right and now the display actually what you're seeing here right now shows the, the limit from the left but in a minute we'll show that they are nonetheless equal. We'll show both limits, both sides. Uh, note the use of limit notation when I wrote it down and from the right equals values larger than negative 1.088087 that is less negative. So now e entering negative 1.0882 uh, notice that this is the limit from the left and this ends up seemingly in no man's land. We had to press the up arrow to go to the other function and then re-enter the negative 1.0882 to get the desired value. Notice both times it's equal to approximately 1.368 which for our purposes we'll say they're close enough to be equal. And that also shows us if we're if we're willing to accept that they're close enough to be equal we can now say that the limit exists now to complete the proof we need to show the value of f of negative 1.088087 by entering it directly into the calculator for this you need to be inside the domain for that x value in this case it's y2 2x squared minus 1. Second, trace and then negative 1.088087 and then enter. The result is just about 1.368 which is consistent with our limit. So written we say that f of negative 1.088087 is about 1.368 and we say that the left and right limits are equal so that also helps us to conclude the limit exists. And finally to show the third condition uh, for Cauchy we need to say that f of negative 1.088087 equals our limit at that x value and therefore conclude that the function is continuous at that point.